read a sign uh, that was in English, thankfully, and uh, some of the key takeaways was that uh, the people who lived here were considered Mayan. Uh, they were here from like 600 to 1200 AD, the construction uh, of this kind of town, I guess, uh, was from 600 to 900. Uh, it was a place of intense trade. Uh, green stone, obsidian, copper, and that, uh, that uh, these people uh, resembled, uh, doesn't say I can't step here, uh, resembled the people from Guatemala, which makes sense because from what I've heard, uh, big part of Chiapas used to be Guatemala and then uh, Mexico I guess conquered it or something. The sign also mentioned that there was a ball court here. I'm pretty sure this would be the ball court. The two sides here would be kind of uh, preventing the ball from leaving the court and maybe these would be like the extremities where you would score. I'm not exactly sure how the game is played but uh, I did see another ball court in uh, Copalita, uh, Oaxaca and uh, looked pretty similar to this, although this one is bigger. Got a bit more climbing to do. People must have been uh, in shape because these, uh, these stairs are uh, a, little, a little demanding. But uh, nothing an adventurer like me can handle. Wow, it's pretty big. Holy cow. So these places, because I've been to a few uh, archaeological zones in Mexico, and I think they're kind of all regulated by the government. So there's usually a sign that would tell you to not climb. So I'm climbing. <laughs> Actually, this could be the ball court too. No, I think the, the one on the lower ground would make more sense. There's kind of some seats here. It seems like it was kind of a common area, like a, a plaza or something. If I read that correctly, here there was a sculpture of a prisoner with his head cut off. Just kind of a creepy thing to have in your main plaza, but different times. This place is pretty crazy. I'm really enjoying the fact that this is like in the jungle a little bit. I think I read that this was some kind of altar or something.
there's a lot of structures here. Definitely not going to be showing all of them in this video. They really went all out with this one. Alright, so I think that's going to just about do it for this video. Um, in the last four months that I've been bicycling through Mexico, I've had the uh, pleasure, and I do mean pleasure, of seeing uh, many archaeological sites. Uh, always check them out if you're near one. Um, I'm going to try to name a few that I've seen here. Uh, it's in Zunzan in Pátzcuaro, near Pátzcuaro. Uh, the big one, I think it was called Tecnotitlan, with the Pyramid of the Sun, uh, near Mexico City. Uh, Cholula, also kind of near Mexico City. Copalita that I mentioned earlier. And there was another one kind of blanking on uh, its name and place right now. Uh, but you can check them all out on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, and I actually think that this site uh, might be my favorite. Even though uh, the one near Mexico City with the Pyramid of the Sun is kind of probably bigger. Uh, there's just something atmospheric uh, about this one. Uh, it's location, kind of in the jungle. Uh, just the variety of the, the ruins and uh, yeah, just the, the setting is just really cool. Really enjoyed it. And uh, if you'd like to see uh, everywhere that I uh, went in Mexico, uh, you can check out my website, followthehumoftheearth.com, which actually has a map of my entire journey uh, bicycle touring from Canada to Argentina and if you like to follow my continuing adventures you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.